Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sadie and today I've done a look using the Jeffree Star Blood Money Palette. This is one of my favourite palettes. Dying to use it again. Dying for a mint look. I just purchased all of his lip bundles. I was dying to do a lip swatch video so I thought why not incorporate this palette with the lip swatches. So before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, join the family, that helped help me out a lot and give me a nice big thumbs up. Um, I am on Jeffree Star's PR so if you are interested in new releases and launches, your girl's gonna, your girl's gonna get it. I do review brand new Jeffree Star products and I've got loads of tutorials on my channel using this palette, it's lipsticks, you name it. Also don't forget I do have a blood sugar palette giveaway at the moment, I'll link it up here. If you go follow that video you'll know more about the rules so good luck. So if you'd like to see how I've done this look then keep on watching. Okay so I've got my eyes primed, oh god. I'm in such a weird mood, sorry. Um, I've got my eyes primed. Oh, there's a bird. So what I'm gonna do first is take a Zoeva Luxe Soft Definer brush and I'm gonna dip into the shade Perversion. No, Persuasion. Perversion, what the hell am I on about? I'm gonna really pack that on the brush. And I'm basically gonna put this on the outer corner and through my crease. I'm really sorry for that drip in. I do try and sort it out, but I'm back in my conservatory at the moment. So I'm really sorry. We just have this constant drip in on the actual fucking conservatory and it's so annoying. I'm sorry for my swearing. I had someone complain about it on one of my videos. She said I was using profanity. What's so profanity? So how are we all? Um, nothing really new happening in life. I mean, I'm probably gonna live up forever that I'm on Jeffree Star's PR for the rest of my life, but um, yeah, uh, nothing else, just really been working. I'm fully vaccinated. I had my second vaccination yesterday. Um, I feel absolutely fine. I felt okay on the first one anyway, um, but yeah. I'm fully vaccinated. Um, Dan has had his first, so I think it's just like a nice bit of reassurance that, you know, most of us in the family have had it now. Um, yeah, that's about it, to be honest with you. I think we all know here, I literally just eat, sleep, work, come home, cook food and repeat sort of thing. Especially now when it's still bloody locked down and I can't do shit. But we're supposed to be opening stuff back up soon and I, for the first time, I'm actually quite worried. Um, I was fine in the first and second lockdown. I was completely fine with it. But the th this third one has really got to me. I've had enough. Um, I have no tolerance for people <laughs> anymore and it's really bad. I mean, I didn't have a tolerance anyway, I'm not a poop. Uh, I am a people person, but people also really irritate to the shit on me. Um, and yeah, like when I was getting vaccinated yesterday, um, there was this lady who was literally, no word of lie, stood this close to someone, talking to them. And you could see this couple were like hushing away and she just kept on going. I'm like, leave them alone. Six feet woman, six feet. I'm gonna take a Spectrum A12, which is this sort of pencil type brush, and I'm gonna take the shade Self Made. Like I said, I'm just gonna pack that on, and just at the edge where I've put that um, persuasion shade, I'm gonna put it here and sort of pack it on just a little bit, so it really sticks to the base. I'm keeping this more of like um, a circular shape. I'm not gonna go wind up smoky, even though it still is smoky a little bit. Need to add here to so on today. Um, I really wanted to make a look with blood money. I feel like I was like, I've been dying to use this again. And like I really wanted to use the mint shade. I was like, mmm, mint. I think I heard oh no, I, I know what inspired me to do this look. Just me and Dan were talking about DVDs um that he saw on like a marketplace on Facebook. And he said the shade he said the word mint condition, and I was like mint condition that's what i'm gonna do um so yeah i'm doing it and plus i wanted to actually do a series um i want to ask you guys something so basically i bought all of the lip bundles um i literally have 
the whole entire eight box. No, is it eight or seven boxes? And I was gonna ask you guys if you wanted me to do dedicated videos using them. I am gonna swatch the Money Honey one in this one anyway, but would you like that with the corresponding palettes? So when I do the Blue Blooded, do you want me to do a look with Blue Blood as well? Or do you want dedicated singular videos just towards lip bundles? Let me know. Okay, then I'm taking this Royal Lanicle crease brush. This is just a really old fluffy one, but it does come in handy sometimes. And I'm gonna take the shade Private Island, which is that single only brown in the palette. And I'm basically gonna blend it out, not to perfection, but I'm just gonna help blend it out and then we'll go back in with the colors again. I really do like this shade as well. Did I use this? Yeah, I can't remember. I wanted to use it even though it doesn't look particularly warm. It just adds a little something so it's not too cool tone. You feel me? I'm just gonna fast forward this bit a little bit, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back in with the colors and just finesse it a little bit more better. Before I do any more blending, I'm just gonna take a detail, what? Detail shader brush from Zoeva and I'm taking the shade Divine Intervention and I'm gonna pop that on my brow bone. So then I can blend that, div no, what am I on about? I can blend Private Island over top of it. So it's not as much of a harsh line. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, I'm just gonna basically mimic what I've done on the top to the bottom. Okay, so now that I have finished that, I'm gonna then cut my crease. So I'm gonna take the shade, no, I'm gonna take blank canvas from P. Louise and my Mama Mitchell, and I'm gonna take a P. Louise 7072 brush. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me how to do cut creases and blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, I can't speak. This is the best for cutting the crease. I wouldn't say it's like an eyeshadow base of just normal. I would say the normal P. Louise. This is very, very thick. That's why it's good for cutting the crease, but only for using in the crease. I wouldn't use this all over the lid. Um, and make sure you put enough on, but don't put too much on because because it's that thick, it can like congeal eyeshadows, and it does with me sometimes. So that's just a word of warning. But it's that thick and easy that it's very easy to manipulate and create that sharp line with. So I'm going to take a bit of that. So with the cut crease, I know I do still have quite large lids, but I do have hooded eyelids. There is still a hood here. You still can't see in my crease 100%. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look for a brush because I've noticed I need to blend it out a little bit better here. So, basically you want to cut, a cut crease is basically to open your eyes more, especially if you have hooded eyelids. So basically, like I've said in quite a few of my videos, sometimes just doing makeup with your eyes open, looking straight forward is the easiest way to do it because your eyes are normally what's open when you close it. It's different. Where, say if you're doing wing liner with your eyes closed, as soon as your eyes open, it creates a different shape. So sometimes it's just easier to keep your eyes open. I know it's, e it's easier than done, but I still don't feel like I do cut creases really well. I think I do like the longer ones, but not like the half cut creases. I still think I suck at them still. Um, but it all is just practice. I know a load of people put it on and then they look up and around, which is a great way because that means it won't transfer. Um, but as long as you got it above the line, it wouldn't transfer anyway. And I don't like doing it that way because I just feel like it goes too high because I do have quite big eyelids. But at least then when you put it on here and it transfers upward, it gives you a nice line. So cut creases can go either way. As you can see, I started it here. So it's way above my nose area. 
you can start it from here and just go slightly outwards also i'm going to do it this way so basically i literally just chuck it on my lid first because i sort of get like the most product on the lid spread it over about almost to the end of my eye not all the way but close okay so i've got most of the product down so I sort of like use a product that's from here and carve up wood so I don't have a, a crazy amount of it. And I'm basically going to keep my eye open and I'm just going to stamp and create a circle. I know it's easier said than done but honestly practice makes perfect. Also, no one can see this but I have my pinky resting on my face to help with balance. Okay, so that's what it'll look like in the end. I still don't like it, um, but like it, like I said, it, it'll be fine. And then I just blend the edge out just a little bit and kaboosh. So I'm gonna go back in with persuasion using this brush and I'm basically gonna cover the outer edge. Go upwards a little bit more here. And I'm basically gonna go in a diagonal direction so it doesn't have too much of a harsh line. So I'm gonna really focus like more on the lash line bit here. So you can see it creates that sort of gradient effect. Then I took a Morphe M124, which is a flat shader brush. And I took the shade, mint condition, and I popped that all over the lid area where I cut the crease. This one is powdery, it's gonna fall on my face, and I just hope, because I can't be asked to put powder underneath, that it will brush off absolutely fine. When I do, um, cut creases like this um, a lot of people are um, asking me they're like oh how did you get it that pigmented um, mine doesn't come out like that but it's because I literally pack it on the brush and I don't tap off the excess so I get on as much as I possibly can on my lid Um, hello, I wasn't recording the bit I literally just done. So I just took the shade Crocodile Tears and I've just popped this on my waterline. Um, I was just saying that I say, so don't panic. You can use them in and out of the waterline. I like to do two coats, so I let one dry first and then I go back in again. So then I took Divine Intervention again on that Zoeva brush and I popped it in my inner corner part. Make it pop. And then I actually took a bit of Sour Ice in the Extreme Frost. I'll put that on the inner corner as well. So that's basically it. I'm just gonna go off camera and do my lashes, put a bit of eyeliner on and put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's the finish I look with mascara and lashes. Um, I'm actually just gonna quickly do this bit. I've actually run out of time and I have to go and get early belly from school. So I will come back and finish the eye look. Um, but actually the lashes I'm using, oh my God, I must drop them, are House of Boo lashes and in the shade Clara. Um, this is a new brand to me. These were kindly sent to me with another pair of lashes. Um, and actually Clara, I've actually met through an inst no, Facebook group and we follow each other on Instagram and I watch her YouTube videos and she watches mine. Um, absolutely beautiful, lovely person. She is absolutely stunning. She's a proper MILF. I, I'm actually in love with her. I know this is like, but she's like beautiful. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very proud of her. I know she's had a bit of a rough year with COVID and everything. Um, so I just wish her the best. And I'm so happy that actually House of Boo dedicated these lashes and she created these lashes with them. So I think that's just an amazing achievement. And well done, Clara. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head off now and I'll be back in a mo. And we'll do some lip swatches. And yeah. Okay, we're back. Um, can I just say these lashes, I love them so much. They're not heavy. Um they're beautiful and they're like really nice and natural you could use this for like day to day or like more looks like this they're just perfect they got like the perfect like cat eye to them where they go a little bit smaller here and they just branch out a little bit more and they were very easy to apply as well so yeah i love them um i'll link clara's oh i can't talk i just had a mcdonald's i'm gonna link clara's um 
YouTube channel and Instagram down below. I'm also going to link House of Boo, but I actually think they've actually sold out of their lashes already, which is amazing, but I'll still link it down below, and they're only like £5 per lash. They're really, really worth it. Okay, before I do lips, I'm actually going to put on, even though I've used sour ice on my lids, I've never actually used sour ice on my face, so I just thought, why not? I've always showed you guys me putting on an extreme frost, so I'll do that now. Obviously, sour ice is the green tone one, so I thought it would go perfect with this. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do first is, um, what am I doing? I think I'm going to put a nude on first, and I'm going to use Can't Relate, because I just love Can't Relate. I'm going to show you the nude first, um, so I'm going to put on the shade Can't Relate, this is one of my favourites, so if anyone, a Jeffrey, I'd like a thousand of these, please. Okay, so that's what it looks like with a nude on, this is quite new, but... I love it. I got like this 100%. So yeah, now I'm going to swatch the Money Honey lip bundle. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks more blue on screen, but it's actually really, really beautiful and green. It comes with eight mini shades. You have Bankroll. I'm just checking to see if you can actually bloody see me. Bankroll, Dead President, Sci Society, Dirty Money, Special Order, Deep Pockets, Crocodile Tears, and Karma. I'm pretty sure I know Karma, Dirty Money and crocodile tears are already here so i think the rest of them are new shades so yeah i don't know which one's actually gonna suit this um i have a feeling karma will look really cool with this but yeah let's swatch all of these so the first one i'm gonna go in with is bankroll i'm gonna zoom you back in okay Tell me why I live for this shade. Um, definitely a two-coater. It was a little bit um, patchy on the first coat, but I got a bit overboard there. Um, yeah, as you can see, I like rubbing my lips together. It's made it a bit opaque, um, not opaque, a bit patchy on the top, but I love it. I think this with like just plain makeup with like a massive wing would look amazing. I think I'm gonna take some pictures with this actually. It's quirky. Okay, so the next shade is Dead President. This is a very, very cool tone green. It looks very mossy, very army. Yeah. Kinda love it with this look. It matches really well to the crease shades I've used. Okay, next shade is High Society, which probably goes really well with mint condition and the actual colour. I was actually thinking about using this as a base, but I wanted to see what mint condition look like by itself. Um, yeah, okay, this is dry. This one will probably be a colour that I'll use on the lid and in the waterline. It's really cool though. Damn, that's pigment. <laughs> I look like um, of the Char uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the old school one. I look like the um, oh my god, what are they called? Oompa Loompas with the white lips. Um, I hundred percent no. This is crazy. It goes perfect with mint condition. This is gonna look amazing in the waterline. But yeah. It's really, really nice though, really, really pigmented, but um, not for me. Okay, so then you have Special Order. I'm quite excited to try these shades, but I know they're not going to go with this look. But I'm excited to use them for another look. Um, this is obviously like a, a greeny, um, burnt orange-brown sort of colour. Really, really unique. Oh, Special Order. Did I say Offer? Sorry. Do you know what? I've really messed up here, I'm really sorry. I, I'm not gonna do a full swatch of it. It looks diff it looks a lot brighter on camera, but actually, in real life, this looks really nice. Like, without the ring light in natural lighting, it looks really, really nice. It's actually more wearable than I thought. I'd actually wear this day to day as well. Okay, I didn't expect that from that, but yeah, really, really nice. All right, then we've got Deep Pockets, which still has that greeny, brown, slightly orange tint to it. It looks quite chocolatey actually. Ooh. Did I say deep pockets? I can't remember what I'm doing. Um I 
love this lip color this is like a proper I feel like I'm in 90s. I feel like I'm in Charmed. It's a very, very 90s color. I love it with this look as well. It, it doesn't look as good on camera. I'm looking at the camera going, this looks horrendous, but actually in real life, it looks really, really nice. Okay, so we have the next shade, which is Crocodile Tears, which is what I've got on my waterline. Um, I've lost them on my face, but I don't care. Okay. Oh my god, I love this. Um, that was one coat as well. I didn't dip back in. It was really, really nice for the look. I love this. Oh my god. Like, I love it in my waterline. It's made my eyes go more um, light green with a bit of blue. And like, when I was looking at the photos, I was like, well, my eyes are really brighter with a bit more of a deeper green in my um, waterline. Sorry, it's not like perfect, but you know. Yeah, really, that's dried down really nice and quick as well. Hmm. I like that a lot. Okay, and the last shade is Karma, which is, yeah, again, like another army green sort of type colour. I'm really excited for this. I'm pretty sure when this came out, loads of people went mental for this colour. Yeah, that one needs a little bit more of a, a just a finesse on it. But yeah, really, really like this one as well. This is really wearable as well. I think his lip bundles look scary, but actually they're really, really wearable. I cannot wait to try the blue blood one. I think the blue blood one I'm going to do next. But yeah, there's all the lip swatches. So there you have it, guys. Here's the finished look. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it very informative. If you ever recreate my looks, please tag me on Instagram. I know a lot of you do, and I absolutely love seeing them. Like I said, please don't forget to give me a nice big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It'll help me out a lot. Comment down below if you'd like to see mo more. No, more? No. Comment down below if you'd like to see more cohesive lip bundles, like monochromatic looks using Jeffree Star and the lip bundles. Please let me know down below because I will dedicate videos towards them because I want to do a lip swatch video in the end. And one last thing, don't forget to enter my blood sugar palette giveaway. I'll link the video down below and I'll link it before the video. So yeah, um, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!